more pheasants or whatever. Right. So then you kind of start going like, okay, what is the limiting factor on this, on not only this property, on your property, but on the surrounding properties. If there's no winter cover around here and you're like, you know, I can shoot birds when in October when it's 75 degrees out, but as soon as it snows, I got no birds, but we better get some, we better get some thermal winter cover out there. So like in your native warm season, switchgrass, big blue stem, Indian grass, stuff like that, where we can hold birds, have standability over the winter. And, and so we're at 15 acres, you know, probably not the whole 15 acres, or you don't necessarily have to do the whole 15. You kind of start linking things together, right? So say in this situation, you know, my neighbor's got a, a cattail slew across the section. So there's birds there, but so it's, it's somewhat close, right? They're not going to leave the county once it snows. I think we should get some thermal cover out there. Like I said, switch Big Blue and Indian are, are like the go-tos for that for me. But then kind of conjoining winter cover very close to that. So in the Midwest, you know, Iowa is no different than the Dakotas. We start getting these like last year we had like legitimate 30 below zero for like seven, eight days in a row. Yeah. Those mm-hmm. birds, if they move, they die. Or if they move too far for food, they die. If they get right. stressed out, you kind of stack winter food and it can be a you know like a corn corns a, a, I, you know, everyone has a corn food plot there's nothing wrong with that sorghum is big um for for that um forage and cover you know sorghum is going to stand up pretty well in the winter but you want to put that close to this thermal thermal winter cover so they you know and we've all seen it too in your tree stand or you're bouncing from slew to slew pheasant you see birds hop you know from cover to cover if they can hop 20 yards versus a mile right you're just conserving energy because if birds don't eat they die you know they're it's it's directly related to the calorie intake on them so we're just trying to link as many of those things together as we can so i'm going like winter cover and then either a sorghum or and or a corn food plot close by i like that i like that a lot yeah we